Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'll be using Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 and I'll show you how to superimpose an image into a kaleidoglobe. So we'll begin by bringing in the images that we'll be using. Go up to File, select Open, and then I'm in my Photos folder here. So I'll select the image that I'd like to use. Hit Open. Then go back up to File, click Open again, and I need to go to the Collider Globe Volume 1 CD. I'll select the globe that I'll be using and click Open. Okay, so we'll bring the picture to the foreground and we need to crop this photo into a circle. And to do that, I'll go over to the elliptical tool here, and currently our marquee tool, and currently it's set as a rectangle. If I click and hold on it, I can select elliptical marquee tool. And then holding down my shift key, I'm going to click with my mouse and drag a circle around this image. And you can move this uh, the circle around in the image for perfect placement. Then with a right click of my mouse inside this circle, I'm going to select feather. Now I'm going to have the feather radius set at 50 pixels and you can experiment, experiment with this but 50 seems to be a pretty good number. I'll click OK and now I've got that done I'm going to click on the move tool here and that just deselects the photo for a moment. Just move it to the side then click on the circle again hold down your mouse and then drag and drop it onto the globe. At this point we're done with this photo so I'm just going to go ahead and X that out. And I'm going to bring this full screen here. And you can see that the photo is still selected and it has a box all the way around. Now if I click and hold on the corner I can increase the size of the image. And I would just do that until I get the size that I like. And then click on the check mark just to confirm the action. And now you've got it perfectly sized within the globe. Then one more step now, still while you have the, the photo selected, is go over to the Layers menu, look for Opacity, and currently it's set at 100. I'm going to just highlight that and type in 75, and that looks pretty good to me. I like how that's blended in there. And then I'll just click here in the gray space. Now this image has been blended or superimposed into the kaleidoglobe. Now when you save this image, I would suggest you either save it as a Photoshop file so you can come in and edit it again, or save it as a .png file. And that way this transparent space that is around the globe will remain transparent and you can use that in other digital applications.